Hello, we've Hello. had <laughs> so many questions come through about Leo's big boy bed and us changing from the cot um, over to his big boy bed. So I just wanted to do a little video and show you, um, do my best with Leo in the back and show you what we decided on and why we decided. So last week, Leo officially started jumping out of his cot um, and it was getting a bit dangerous, although I've got complete faith in his climbing skills. Um, it was getting a little bit dangerous, so we thought it's time for the big boy bed. So he already knew that he could get out of his cot. So um, I felt like if we transition to a single bed that um, it might be a little bit easy for him because he, yeah, it's not like having all of that area to be able to get out. So that was how we decided on a big boy bed. Um, we then did a bit of a trip to Ikea to work out what kind of bed we'd get. We were deciding between um, a smaller, like, children's bed or like a full size single bed. Um, so yeah, just decided to go for a single bed. Um, Cause I felt like this is something that's gonna last a lot longer rather than just kind of buying another interim bed. Um, so that's what we decided on. We got the Hemnes um, single bed, which actually matches the same as this. Um, this has got the little interior motives, leather tags on ours. And we have loved it. So it actually pairs in really nicely in the end. Um, we also went for the foam mattress instead of the spring mattress. Um, we were at the Ikea and we couldn't decide between the two. The spring was more expensive so naturally I just kind of went, well we want a better quality one, let's go for the spring one, it's more expensive. That was my thought behind it. Um, we actually met a man there who was returning his single spring mattresses because they could feel the springs in their back. Um, so that kind of made our decision. So he was actually coming to swap them over. So we decided that we would go for the foam. I think it's a foam mattress. I need two choices at Ikea. So we went for that one instead. Um, Philip went racing around to try and find um, some little bed bedspread covers for Leo. Leo's never slept with a, um, like with a sheet before. So this is all very new for us. He had been wanting for a little while in his cot. He'd been trying to pull it up under the, under the fitted sheet and actually trying to hop under like we do in our bed. So it's kind of showing signs of wanting to do that. Also love jumping in our bed and kind of putting the blanket up um, like we do in our bed. So we felt like he'd be quite comfortable. Um, we didn't put a doona in it. We wanted to see how he went. We didn't want it too heavy because um, he's not used to a sheet. Um, this is the cute little pattern we got. We ended up getting this one from Target. It's got the cute little veggies over it and we thought it was cute. And it's got nice green on the back. Um, so that's what we ended up deciding on. And I got a second one from Big W as well. It's like a terrazzo kind of one. So just got a couple. And I think they're like $15 each or something. We saw a cool one at Maya. It's like a jungle theme. But it was like $80. And I thought, nah, we actually really liked the vegetables. <laughs> so <laughs> we went with the veggies. never slept with a pillow so we didn't do any research around this I haven't asked anyone I just thought we'd go with the flow and see how he went with it I obviously know he's strong enough that he's not gonna like leave it over his face anymore like he like he's strong enough to have these things um, around him um, so we got a discounted slimline pillow which says it's for kids so you can actually go we got ours from Maya it was 40% off at the moment so yeah that's what we've got it's super soft and nice and thin and last night he kind of slept on it a little bit um so yeah it's that's going well Ooh, isn't it um so we didn't put the doona insert into the into the doona cover like I mentioned we just have a fitted sheet underneath 
um, and then the duna cover on top. Okay, and then next thing is we got this from Bunnings. I think they've got them at Kmart and all kinds of things and it just goes down and then there's straps that go underneath to hold it, hold it in place. Um, and as we watched the video of the, um, the monitor of Leo sleeping um, last night, he did roll and lean, um, lean on it. So he definitely would have fallen out. <laughs> um, but yeah, all in all, um, so yeah, Leo slept through the whole, the whole night. Um, we did our usual bed bath time routine, which I'm going to do a separate story on that. Um, like a separate video on the routine we do with Leo at bedtime. Um, we're fairly routine free the rest of the time. Um, but we thought it was important for sleep time to have a routine in place. And I think that's probably one of the, been one of the best things um, that we've done is that routine. So I'll definitely share a lot of people um, are quite surprised how long Leo can sleep during the day. He does three to four hours during the day. And then um, he sleeps all the way through at night time. So even the first night in your big boy bed, hey, he slept all the way through. Yay! And uh, he even called out for us in the morning. He didn't even get out of his bed and kind of come in. So, um, oh, do you want to press that? You can in a minute. No. Can you hear a pony? Can you hear a pony? Did you like your bed? Do you like your bed? bed. Oh, Leo's bed. Do you like it? Bed, yeah, bed. Yeah, big boy bed. Yeah. Um, I hope I've answered all your questions today. If you have any other questions, um, please feel free to pop them below and I will get back to you. So, um, that's a wrap. Ha, ha, ha.